Caregivers often want to know, what should I do in the midst of an explosion? So no earth-shattering advice on that question, quite frankly. The standard advice is the advice, defuse, de-escalate, keep everybody safe. Here's the earth-shattering guidance. Figure out what caused that explosion in the first place and proactively and collaboratively solve that problem so it doesn't cause an explosion again. Nothing incredible to do in the heat of the moment. All of the beautiful stuff happens in trying to prevent the heat of the moment in the first place. Fortunately, the CPS model is completely oriented toward being proactive. You are proactively identifying lagging skills and unsolved problems. You are proactively deciding which unsolved problems you're going to work on and which ones you're going to set aside for now. And then you are proactively solving those problems so that you don't find yourself in the heat of the moment. Now, even after you've done all of that, is it still possible to find yourself in the heat of the moment again? Yes, but as we always say here in the CPS territories, once you've, found, once you've figured out what a kid's lagging skills and unsolved problems are, there are very few surprises left. Now you know what to do with the hopefully very few surprises that remain.